Alex and Jordi. Uh, I think this, yeah, this is the first time you guys meet. But uh, Alex is the physics designer, and he made the uh, behavior of the uh, Cupralion eraser. Jordi, if you want to already start with your feedback. No, I just said that the car is uh, is quite nice to drive. It's a difficult car to drive. It's very difficult to drive it in in real life as well. It's a car that is quite heavy, but it's very powerful. You have to handle uh, the acceleration very well, and at the same time, you have to be careful because as it is heavy, any mistake you make, it lasts for longer than, uh, uh, let's say, the Cupra uh, TCR. Yeah, I was very surprised by how, especially at the rear of the car, it's, it's quite different. First time I drove a car, the entry of the corner was not very nice, but uh, I don't know if it was you that uh, managed to get the regeneration on the rear axle. That helped a lot, because when you have some regen, it's a real, real torque. We managed to to rotate a little bit better on the apex of the corner. So this was one of the most difficult parts and we had to work a lot on suspension, setup, how we use the tires. Since you've made these uh, changes that I can change the regeneration now on the, on the steering wheel, what I can do in my racing car, uh, the car got really closer to what I have on track. One of the good things of uh, electric cars is that you have to, to play some strategy on the races. To have the capability to use power and more in the beginning or more on the end, that could change uh, a race strategy. You need a smart driver, not only a quick driver, you need a smart driver to make use of all these uh, little uh, bits and, and capacities of the car. So the, the one that has better strategy and drives uh, better on cost down and, uh, and is fast is the one that wins the race. And uh, we have five different maps, five different engine maps with different uh, power outputs. So we have the amount of regeneration that you already did and you did very well. There are many things that the driver can can change on the racing car. When, when we go race uh, qualifying, everything is on maximum, full power, and just go maximum for three, four laps. But when we have to race, then we have to start playing a little bit with all these uh, possibilities because the, the electric motors are very easy to tune. If I talk in horsepower, I think it's around 400 horsepower, if the minimum map, to the 650 or 80 that can deliver in maximum power. How does it seem to you in the in the high speed turns, is the behavior correct? And, uh, in the high speed curves of Neutralize, it's quite good. It's quite it's quite real. Top speed also is very real. I think we managed to get in top in Neutralize was 260 something, which is uh, our top speed in, uh, in in that case. So that that is very close. Braking, turning, high speed. Also, the car is good because it's it's a car that tends to understeer a little bit, but when you release the throttle, the rear end moves, and in that car, the same thing happens. That's surprisingly close to what, what I have on the on the race car. The technology of an electric car is completely different to a, a petrol combustion engine. So that's why there are many areas that normally you never take care about when uh, when you drive a petrol combustion, like this uh, regeneration, that, that everything that you can change from the steering wheel, there are many more changes that you can do on the steering wheel that will affect your driving. This normally doesn't happen on a petrol combustion. So. It's good to know that they have to have their own strategies. They have to understand that they have to um, to use this capacity of the of the electric motors to to pull the car and use that, use the rest of that. Driving also changed a little bit because the, we have, when we have so much power and so much torque, the lines on the on the car are a bit different. That you this after 10, 15 laps you realize that you cannot drive exactly the same way you drive in a petrol car. You have to brake a bit more try to turn with a little bit less uh, time. So you have to try to make corners a bit shorter in order to have the car straight and be able to put the power down. Otherwise, with so much torque, you never manage to get the, to transmit this power. So it's a different way of driving and it's a different approach on uh, how you use the power. And also if you have the capacity, how you make your race strategy in order to have the best moment uh, till the very last meter of the race. So there are, few things that are different on, a, on an electric car that, that doesn't happen on a combustion car. Thank you. That, that, that's great. You know, to all the players, I know they will take that as a tip on how to drive the car. So that's really interesting. A pleasure. All the, all, not only with an eraser, also the help I had with a, with a TCR, uh, the own competition, which was also good fun. It was my very first time I was in, in this world. And uh, I had a lot of fun and I learned a lot. So I hope that I can, when I have a simulator at home we can we can continue and and I can keep part of this uh, of this experience for longer graphics are very nice the car is really nice eh?